What is going on everybody? Welcome back channel. Today's video we are going to be, as you can see from the title and thumbnail, we're going to be taking and sighting in all the pews for deer season. So with that being said, if you guys seen, um, actually I don't recommend you go watch it because it was a botch of a video, but I did a video like making the, like the best shooting range or whatever. I don't even remember what I titled it. It's been a while. But uh, yeah, that was a complete fail. Uh, and I even said it in the video. It was just not a good one. But we uh, thought of something. I've been using my brain, thought of something. So for all the chemicals that we use in our milk barn, um, we get these big 55 gallon drums and you can buy them pretty much anywhere. Um, well, not anywhere, but you can, you can find them. They're pretty easy to find, but here they are. So we got these two 55 gallon drum barrel and all I'm gonna do to make a target this is just gonna go so you guys know what I'm doing and what we got we got going on down there but uh, what I did is I I've already done this part we screwed down a board on the top to keep them together and then we're gonna take this board and put it uh, running over the side so then we can staple targets to it or we can put a piece of cardboard and then put targets on the cardboard. Now you may be asking yourself, well why would you put the cardboard and then put the targets on? Here's the thing, if you got a gun that's like, you like can't even get it on paper, here's what I suggest, get you a big old sheet of cardboard, um, put it on there and then put your target right in the middle, shoot and if it's, if it's not getting on the cardboard then you've got a major problem and you need to go to a gun shop. But if you can at least get it on the cardboard, you'll know, oh I need them, oh it's shooting a foot left and maybe your target isn't catching that, it's barely missing the target. Oh, I just got to move it over a ton to the right. So that's kind of why I'll do that when I have guns that like, I can't even get them on paper. That's what I do. So we're going to screw this on real quick. I'll throw you guys into a real quick time lapse. We're going to screw this on there and then we'll try to find a sheet of uh, cardboard. I need to get one. And then we're going to hopefully, Grayson should be coming down. He might be in this video. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But he should be maybe coming down and we're going to try the fog lifts or what we'll continue this video some other time. But the fog lifts, we're gonna go down and get everything sided in. So if he is coming down, I'll have him stop by and pick up some extra targets or we'll just use paper or paper plates or something like that and draw on them. So that is the goal for today's video. So I'm gonna get this quickly screwed on there and then um, we'll pick you guys back up. We're gonna hook up the trailer later. Like I said, if the fog lifts and we're gonna take these down to the shooting range, get them set out. I'm, for now, I'm just gonna do one, um, but eventually I'd like to get two or three to get them set down through there different ranges so we don't have to move them but for today we'll probably set this one at 100 start sighting stuff in I've kind of got some the guns that I'm gonna be using I've bore sighted them or I've already shot them a little bit and they just need dialed so that is the goal I'm gonna get this done and I'll uh, pick you guys back up probably here after a while stay tuned all right so there we go like I said this is super easy um, and this is probably the most affordable way you could do it I get the barrels for free because obviously they come from and they're emptied we usually throw them away or just keep them but a lot of people sell them and I don't think they're that expensive I'm sure you could probably find them pretty cheap and then this was just an old piece of wood so this is a way where you can make super cheap targets but they'll last um, and, if the, and then of course you know the board's not gonna last forever but all you gotta do is just replace the board and you've still got the barrels now you could even go crazier if you got like crazy winds or you know you, you want to make sure they don't go anywhere you could fill them up with sand water probably not water because it would leak out if you get the target I just I don't know why I said that but you can fill them up with like sand or maybe like some I don't know you could do something put sandbags on top that would probably be the best because anything you put in you shoot that's gonna spill out um, and you don't want to put anything hard in there obviously but you could probably put like sandbags on top or concrete bricks on top so it can't go nowhere but this is probably like the best way I think I could do that and even with this flat board here on top I have a mini little uh, target that I bought. I thought it was much bigger, um, but it's a metal target. It's rated for 30-06s, I think, and down to nine millimeters. So we might even put that on top and use it as a stand to get it up higher level. So I think it's gonna be really sick. It was a really good idea, um, and I can't wait to see how it works. But uh, yeah, here it is. That's that. Super easy, literally took me Literally took me five minutes. I but by the time I got everything together, got it all screwed together, it took five minutes to make this. So super easy. All we gotta do is get it down there and uh, get it set up. So uh, we'll pick pick you guys up here after a while. Stay tuned. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it down here to the shooting range. Uh, Grayson is down here, and we've got. Let's see. I brought my AR. This is a sneak peek to another video we'll be filming. We're gonna shoot a little bit, and then this is a six five. I have a whole video up on it on the channel that you all probably seen it did pretty good but uh, yeah that's a 6.5 we're going to be deer hunting with that this year um, 
and then Grayson's got some ARs and I think he's got a new shotgun and then they've got a couple other deer rifles and stuff so we're gonna have a fun day of shooting here shoot a bunch of guns and hopefully get some stuff sighted in I think first we're starting with uh, pistols I've got the nine millimeter that y'all seen in the when I got the six five I got the nine two so we're gonna start with pistols I think and then what do you want to do you want to do rifles next or ARs next Grayson We'll do rifles next, so we're gonna get started and uh, see how we're looking, so stay tuned. Okay, not too heavy. I'm trying to like figure out where I need to aim. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to Alrighty, so that is uh, Grayson's girlfriend. She is shooting her nine millimeter, and then I'll get to mine here in just a second, but uh, yeah, I thought I'm gonna try to like keep you guys updated on what we're shooting. So she's got a nine millimeter, um, and I think we've only got two handguns out here. So I'll be going next, shooting my nine. But uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Natural habitat. Where's he hitting? Where am I? Am I hitting all the way right? I don't even see them on. I don't see. It looks like they're hitting on the right hand side of it. And he wanted this. About mine. There you go. You're, you're low. Yeah, one came up on the paper. I think you were shooting really low. There you go. Are you shooting that low? I think so. That's what I'm saying. I like. I was trying to figure it out. Because I'm putting it even. I was putting it, that's why you were I kept, shooting pretty. You were shooting pretty low. I was trying to figure out where I needed to, like if I needed to aim a little higher. Yeah, it needs to be aimed higher because, you know, because it's supposed to be even, right? <clears throat> right. So, I was doing it even, but. It's I guess low it, when you do it even. Yeah. That's what I was trying to figure out because my, because the second, that's why the second so the one side, did. Well, that, that, that means the sight needs to be brought up a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, but you can't. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. What is that? This is a uh, tortoise. CG3? Yeah. Same gun I have. Gotcha. You go arms fully extended or do you go. You're like supposed to go arms fully extended. Okay. Damn. Wow. There you go. Yeah, no, that's, no, see, that's that, good. That was a good pattern. No, nah, that's just getting it like, see, holding it right on. Yeah, that, that was a good pattern right there. Yeah, this thing shoots, this thing shoots really good. That thing's loud. Yeah, it is. It is. Holy sh! I could like hear that perfectly through these. <clears throat> what is that? 308. Mm-hmm. Right. We have brought out the rifles. Grayson is going to be, want the big one or the little one? Probably the little one since we're solo the chair solo. Grayson's going to be shooting his 308, so I'll do my 6.5 here in a minute, but Grayson's going to try it out. He's had some complications with the scope. How do you think that happened? I don't know, just jiggle it. I don't know what happened. Maybe out in the field. We'll see what happens. We have the target out at 50. You can really see it out there on the camera. But we'll throw the long lens on for 100. But uh, yeah, we'll see where he hits. That's the nice thing about having, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, is having the cardboard. So if he shoots like to the left a foot, we can still kind of see it. So let's see what happens. All right. If you hit anywhere on that paper, we should be able to see it pretty good. Yeah, it should be. All right, everyone ready? Yeah. All right. Getting ready to fire. Oh, uh, right. A little right, yeah. All 
Ready? Yep. More right. How? Hmm. Could just been you. I'd shoot another I see one. that one. I'd shoot another one before you adjust. could have just been you. Dead I mean, on. I can't even tell. I can't see it. It's dead on. Really? I saw it in the scope. All right, let's go down there. Then. You think the last one was dead on? Huh? I saw it in the scope. Uh, hey, I couldn't uh, on my camera. Oh wait, I can tell on my on my camera. You couldn't pick it up. But oh yeah, it's just like, right on the top. Yeah, it's. Right on top. Beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. Think you're good? You want to try to shoot another one? Or yeah, we'll help you with that. One. Look at that. Dang on. Yes, sir. Yo, 308. Where'd it go? What? Didn't you put the stickers back here? Oh. Yeah, yeah, they're right there. Cover them back up. Where'd you get these targets at? Old Bass Pro. Bass Pro. 1936. Dude, that's perfect. You just come right back up. Make one last for. Do that real quick, and we'll we'll probably do the other guns too. We're at 50 yards. Yeah, I'm, I got to shoot mine at 50 to make sure it's. Then we'll move everything up to 100, and then we can even move back to 200 because of the range we built. Yeah, that's true. So we could even shoot out at 200 today. So we'll probably have to adjust them even at 100 to get them, and then just leave them at 100. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right on. So. He's gonna shoot off, I won't film it. He's gonna shoot a little more, make sure he's good. And then I'm gonna bring out the 6.5 and we're gonna see what we're looking like on that. So you guys stay tuned. Oh gosh, I have a shotgun, go ahead. Most guys use a short girl. Well, yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Good lord. Down. This low? Mm -hmm. Straight up and down slow. I'll shoot one more to make sure. Yep, low too. I mean, a little too to the left, mm. but. Okay. You're a little to the left, but it's still down. Alright, go ahead and shut that off. Yeah. How many clicks you think? Uh, move it up eight. Because that's a quarter inch for 100 yards. On. No, I turned it off, but all right, go ahead and turn it back on right. as long as it's on the target. Good, good down more into the left. I pulled that one. Good, good. All right, so you're up. You're up now. You're just a little bit below the yellow mark. Yeah. All right, so I brought out the Scott spotting scope and I threw my phone on there for y'all. Um, it's going to be difficult getting all the clips in there together in a row, but we started pretty low and then worked her up a little bit. And at 50, if I would have just been like a quarter of an inch to the left, I'd been perfect. I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for perfect. I'm looking for just good enough to kill a deer. So that last shot was right there so as long as i'm in here and this one was in here too as long as i'm in here i'm good with it so now we're gonna patch or put a new target on and we're gonna shoot ars huh mm -hmm. pews more pews you can't call them ars you gotta call them pews pew pews. Pews. pew pews yeah be like flare today we're shooting all these pew pews so all right ars are up next stay tuned i've done that i i ruined one of those i blew the side down of it How See, was that? Was it was that? fun. See, it wasn't that bad, right? No, it kicks a little bit, but not bad. No, it's just like a 22. Mm -hmm. I like it. See? Now mag dump it. I don't have a mag in. We'll put a mag in. <laughs> you can probably stand up and just go for it if you nah. want. Hit 
Yeah. There's only like five rounds in it, so. <laughs> Hardy, did you go clear? Yep. Like, <laughs> clear. All right, well, I'm gonna Is grab. There, did I even hit anything on there? I'm sure you did. The Bro, I did. I still... sided it in. I changed it. Well, the target's so obliterated either we need to change it, but I want to shoot mine. I've got mine here. Mine's not as pretty as yours, but uh, like here's mine. So we're gonna throw the mag in. I'm just gonna send a few down range. I'm not even trying to side it in. Probably not today, at least, because I gotta get going here after a while, and we want to move that to like a hundred. So we're gonna grab this, turn on the GoPro. I want to turn on the spotting scope, and we're just gonna send a couple down range on this. So stay tuned. Here we go. You ready? Wow! <laughs> Obliterating the middle. Why is your smoke so bad? I don't know, but I'm obliterating the middle. Am I not? Can't really. Tell. I feel like I am. <laughs> I see it like getting to the left a little bit. I'm obliterating that, so I'm hitting right there. All right, we'll go ahead. You're to the left. Yeah, but I'm still. I'm. Yeah. Holy crap! That thing smokes like. Yeah, I told you it's smoking. I like. Jeez. I, I don't know why is your smoke so bad, but. You want to mag dump it? This one? No, I'll mag dump it. But I'm saying, should I mag dump it? I ain't got, I ain't got any more two two three. I don't care. If you want to do whatever you want to do, try it. I ain't got any more. That's what I'm saying. Oh, then no. Oh, okay. He's wanting to use our ammo to mag dump it. That's you why. Use no. Look at all. Look at the smoke going across there. Yeah, I tell you. Jeez. Yeah, it's shooting to the left, but it, I think it's get up and down. Mm -hmm. All right, we want to move out to a hundred. Yep, we'll move to 100 now. Alright, we're gonna move to 100. Alright, we got the target out at 100. And, uh, Jackson's going first, so. Throw so it back on the spotting scope. And it's gonna be a lot of editing, but. Throw it on the spotting scope and see if he can. At 50, you were dead. Yeah, 50, you were dead on with your 308, weren't you? Mm hmm. So, see what happens. Let her fly. Really high to the left. Mm -hmm. Think that was you or the gun? I don't know. We'll just see. Oh, high to the right. You're on the. You're on that same line to the right. You're mm -hmm. perfectly to the right. Look at this. Where'd he hit? See the two the two dots on the top? Oh, I see it now. <laughs> That's like straight across from each other. Yeah. <clears throat> Why are you so high? Mm -hmm. Uh, you're perfect up and down. You're just really far to the right. You're touching the edge of the right of the target, but you're perfect up and down. Uh, you're really far to the right on the edge of the target, but you're low. I don't think that one's on paper. What's going on? It's right above the last one, or the the one in the middle, on the far right. Isn't it right above it? I got my. Since you know these ones have like five different cameras, you can't. Yeah. It's right above that one over there, but you're still super far to the right. Your scope, the gas is in your scope could be 
All wacko. I don't see that one, do you? I can't find it. I don't understand that. See, your first one was there, second one was there, third one was there, fourth, fifth, or fifth you couldn't find, and then sixth, and then seventh you can't find. Oh no, that's weird. Maybe you need to let it cool down and try again here. Going down there, look, that's weird. He's going down there. Alright, six five time, you ready? Mm hmm. There we go. Here we go. Would you, I have like the little lines, would you put it on the, hmm? one of the little lines or would you put it right in the middle? Put it right in the middle. I think it's down. Yeah. Do. I'm going to bring it up. I know it's. Ready? Mm -hmm. Now you're high. It's better low. <laughs> Right in the middle to the left. Yeah, I jerked that one. Uh, the other slide of bullets is in the box, the 6.5 box. Alright, you're just a tad to the left on the yellow dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll do one more. Last adjustment brought it right where it needed to be. That was gonna be a tad high. Not really. It just mean a tad high to the just a tad to the right of it. But I'm in the right by this yellow. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. Now oh, this one's sided in. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, that. we're good. We're ready for deer season, baby. At least I am. Sweet. All right, that's it for the 6.5. She is pretty much dialed in, the old Ruger. I think next, if Grayson's good with it, I think we're gonna just pull out the shotgun. This, like I said, this is for another video, but I need to shoot it to make sure it's good as brand new. You guys will see that video coming up, but I went and got it. So, uh, do you mind if we shoot this shot, these shotguns real quick? Sure. And then, uh, I'm gonna have to get out of here for too long and then they're gonna stay down here and keep shooting. But we're gonna shoot this, see if she's any good. This is a pointer, 12 gauge. So throw a couple shells in it and see how it does. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do one start. Oh, that shoots good. First shot out of it. Okay, so good? Mm hmm. That kicks quite a bit, but it shoots pretty good. You want to shoot it? Sure. It's pretty nice. Safety, you should flip it off. It should be good to go. What do you think? Not too shabby. Not bad for a turkey gun. Turkey gun? You guys in the made in turkey? Yeah, it's made in turkey. That says right down here. Made in turkey. But, can't show you guys too much of that because that's for a whole nother video but um yeah i think grayson's gonna keep trying to side in uh his gun but i think for uh for me at least i think we're pretty much good so unless you want to run do you want to shoot shoot your gun more I was gonna shoot the try to side in it, or do you want to bring it back and shoot pistols and then you try to sight it in i'm just gonna get you my 243 oh the 243 you're right so the only thing is we might do some more pistols here in just a minute but I think that's gonna wrap it up for the video. We the main point of the today's video was to kind of show you guys getting the pews ready for uh, deer season. 
and uh, then we we're just having fun with the other ones handguns and then uh, the uh, shotguns and then the AR so we got the 65 completely dialed for deer season so we're good to go but uh, that's probably gonna wrap up today's video so hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure you guys go follow me over on Instagram and we'll see you next time peace